Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video with Living in Green Bay. I'm your host, Andrew Guywitz. Thanks so much for watching today. In this video today, we are going to break down some of the surrounding areas around Green Bay to help you learn what those different municipalities' names are and get an idea for what they look like on a map. And make sure to stay tuned because it's not just going to be information and explanation. We are going to have some fun as well. And so we will be doing learning and a game at the same time. Welcome back, everybody, to Living in Green Bay. Like I said in the opener, my name is Andrew Guywitz. I'm your local real estate agent here in the Green Bay, Wisconsin area. Make sure to reach out to me any way you want if you're looking to buy or sell a home in Green Bay, Wisconsin. All of my contact info is in the description below. And I've loved getting to help all of the different people who have reached out from these videos and in the other ways of just knowing me or somebody else around town who you know, has appreciated the business that I've provided. So with that, we're going to explain a little bit about the surrounding municipalities in Green Bay today, help you get to know where they are and uh, what their names are. In Wisconsin, people like to poke fun at some of the funny, weird, silly, hard to pronounce names that we have for different cities in Wisconsin. My wife is from one of those cities, Oconomowoc. Go ahead, look that up. Try to say that fast. It's, it's a doozy. And uh, so there's all sorts of funny names like Oconomowoc and other ones like that. And, you know, it just has different roots in different languages. And we try to pronounce it in our modern day language. And it's kind of laughable because we don't know how to pronounce them. So today in this video, I want to show you some of the surrounding areas of Green Bay and how to pronounce some of those names, at least how myself as a local pronounces it. And if you might pronounce one of these differently, make sure to mention that in the comments below. I think it's so funny to hear people debate and just, I don't know, just laugh and enjoy this idea of trying to pronounce cities correctly. And like I said in the opener, there's going to be a game element as well in this video. What we are going to do is when we talk about a new area around Green Bay, we are going to see how Siri pronounces it as well to see if she can actually pronounce these names. And we'll give her a grade and see if you could learn these names had you just asked Siri to teach you. So that'll be a fun element we'll put in today as we learn some of the different cities and municipalities surrounding Green Bay as a whole. So as we jump into this video today, we're gonna work our way clockwise around Green Bay. And you can see the map here of the different municipalities surrounding the city of Green Bay. So here we go. The first one up in the top right hand corner is the town of Scott. I think Siri is going to have no problem with this one, but we'll take a listen here. Let's see how she pronounces it. Scott. I think she did it. We'll give her 10 out of 10 cheese heads for the first pronunciation. Well done. Okay, let's jump into the second one, which is the town of Humboldt. How would Siri pronounce Humboldt? Siri, how would you pronounce Humboldt? Humboldt. Whoa, I think she actually did pretty darn good. I think we'll give Siri a 10 out of 10 on that one as well. She is crushing it so far. Well done to Siri. And that's the municipality on the eastern side of the border of Green Bay, the town of Humboldt. Okay, next up is the village of Bellevue. How would Siri pronounce Bellevue? Bellevue. Uh, we better hear that one again. Bellevue. You know what? She's actually doing really well. Bellevue, I think we're gonna go 10 out of 10 cheese heads on that one. She is on a roll, folks. Let's keep moving, see if there's any more stumpers as we go around the outskirts of Green Bay. All right, let's go take a look at another area around Green Bay, and that is the village of Alloway. Now, 
One thing you'll notice as you try to pronounce different names in the Green Bay area is there's a predominant influence of French names because the French explorers were one of the first groups to come through this area. Another group that you'll find connected to a lot of names in Green Bay are actually even further back in history than that, and that is the different First Nations peoples that inhabited this area before the French and other Europeans moved in later on. So let's see how Siri pronounces Alloway. How's your French, Siri? Alloway. That was pretty good. Let's hear it again. Alloway. Alloway. Yeah, you know what? I think if you listen to Siri, she'd probably help you out with that one as well. Good job, Siri. 10 out of 10 cheese heads there. We're on to our next municipality, which is the city of De Pere. As we say it here, De Pere. That is also a French influence. And let's see how pr Siri pronounces this southern area name in the Green Bay landscape. De Pere. Uh-oh. We better let her have another shot at it. De Pere. Oh, gosh. If you were going to learn how to say De Pere from Siri, you probably wouldn't like it. De Pere. Yeah, that's not going to work. We will give you two cheese heads out of ten on that one, Siri, because that was rough. Okay, we are moving over to the western perimeter of the Green Bay area, and uh, one that I'm really curious to see how Siri pronounces, because it's long and complex, and it could be one that trips her up. And that is the village of Ashwabanon. Ashwabanon, that's how I say it. Okay, let's see how Siri does with Ashwabanon. Ashwabanon. Whoa, I actually think she probably said it better than I did. <laughs> I'm pre pretty sure it is Ashwabanon with a little bit more of that eh in the front of it. Let's hear it one more time, though. Ashwabanon. Good job, Siri. I think she did better than me, so give me eight cheese heads out of ten, maybe, and give her the full ten. Well done, Siri. All right, we're moving from southwest over to the west side of the Green Bay area. We are talking about the village of Hobart. Hobart. How does Siri say Hobart? Hobart. Uh-oh. One more time. Hobart. Um, if you're looking for the city of Hobart, I have no idea how to help you. We call it Hobart, as far as I know, and uh, we'll give you yeah, three cheese heads out of ten for that one, Siri. Okay, we are going to the northwest side of the border of Green Bay to Howard. And I kind of think this one's going to be similar to how the northeast side of Green Bay went with the town of Scott. So let's see how she does with Howard. Howard. What do you think? Howard. You know, I think that she knows how to say the word Howard. So well done, Siri. Let's give her, you know, mm, we better give her a 10 out of 10 cheese heads for that one. Just northwest of Howard is Swamico. So let's see how Siri pronounces Swamico. Swamico. Oh no. <laughs> let's try it again. Swamico. So it's Swamico as far as I'm concerned. So we have Howard and Swamico. Not Swimico. Swimico kind of sounds like a beach themed business. I think she did pretty well, folks. Let's total it up and find out. Okay, Siri did pretty good with that rankings overall, and you can see her score here, so. I would give her, you know, a lot of credit, and if you needed to, you could trust her in a pinch with a lot of the pronunciations for the areas around Green Bay. Well, there you have it. That is the different cities and municipalities that surround the Green Bay area. I hope you enjoyed seeing how Siri could actually pronounce or not pronounce them. Actually, I think she did, you know, pretty good for AI and, um, you know, trying to pronounce it as a bot. So. You tell me what you think of her 
abilities in the comment section below. And obviously you saw what grade I gave her in the video. So I'd love to hear what you guys think. And if you have a funny pronunci pronunciation for the town that you live in, make sure to mention that. And uh, we'll have some fun trying to pronounce those different names in the comment section below. Like I said, my name is Andrew Guywitz. I'm a local real estate agent here in Green Bay. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We have more content on the way. You're not going to want to miss it. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that little bell to get notifications when we release new content. And if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button if this video was fun and you enjoyed it and you know it gave you some value. I would really appreciate that. And it helps the video do better in the YouTube world and uh, helps more people see it. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you all. And uh, we'll see you guys again soon on another video with Living in Green Bay.